Hey guys, it's Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. I'm out here in my Zone 1 permaculture orchard. And I think it's important that you guys know about seed saving. Because without seed saving, you're not going to make it. At some point, there might not be stores to go get seeds. Now, what's seed saving all about? Well, let's come down here on this Asian kale here and take a look at it flowering. I'm going to eat these. Mmm, delicious. But if we let these flowers go, these spikes start to form. And these spikes will get bigger and bigger, and they'll fill with seeds. This is how brassica seeds form. And this is a kale, and this will be a big, long stalk. This is a Brussels sprout. It'll flower later, and we'll do a video on that. But over here we have a Love Lies Bleeding Amaranth, and this will be the seed head. In the future, that's where the seeds will form. So that's why, where I'll save the seed there. Some flowers are everywhere. Now to save the seed, you just let them mature. And you know when it's mature because you'll, pull, you'll run your finger over here and they'll uh, pop off. And then what you'll see inside is sunflower seeds. So let me crack this open for you. And that's the native sunflower seed around here. See the tiny little seeds? Those are native sunflower seeds. Okay, that's how you do sunflower. Now come check this out. I have uh, some giant Asian mustard that's going to seed. It's a brassica, and just like the other one, there are those long pods, and these pods are now filling with seeds. This is the green stage. So the seeds inside the pod are green. Okay, so what I do have is some dried brassica. So you want to let your brassicas go to this and get dry. And if I could just set this down, maybe. I'll come over here. And I'll show you how I do my brassica. So you need a pan. And I just run my hands right over it like this. That's it. So what I'm doing, and where you're doing this, you want to be in an area where you're okay with growing whatever seed you're saving. And I'll tell you what I mean, because I've just dumped a million seeds in this area, and I'll probably get wild mustard coming up. Now, once you have all the seeds in here, you also have all this chaff. So you want to shake it at the bottom and pull out the chaff and this is how I do it so I shake it to get all the seeds out of my hand here these are the cases the seeds were in and you want to get it all the way down and then the final way to do this as you winnow it is with wind and I've seen others do this I learned from experience, that's how you do it. Now, let me get you back here and look at the amount of mustard seed I just harvested. I could make a mustard preparation with that. I could also grow an acre of mustard. So by letting just one mustard plant go to seed, I, you can collect up to 10 times this, this amount of seed. And you can use this type of seed saving for microgreens. I mean, you could collect a few pounds of mustard seed and use it for microgreens. So brassicas are great for seed saving in huge quantities. I mean, I just did one stalk. Now, here are some snap peas that are, all, that are finished. You want to let them go to dry. And here you see I have a snap pea here. And you just take them out and you just want to shell them. So I got some, I got four sugar snaps now. 
that I can just plant. Now, some seeds need to be uh, cold stratified. Now, what that means is that they have to be overwintered. They have to be in freezing conditions for a period of time. So you can see now that I've got four or five, 15 sugar snap plants just out of three beans. So I let these go to seed. And uh, see what we got over here. Anything else going to seed right now? Okay, so we can do a, here's an Asian kale and it's flowering. And these rods are gonna be the seed pods. So we'll check in on this in a week or so. And this cilantro here, the seeds are forming right here in the form of coriander seeds. If you didn't know that, cilantro is coriander. So this will be the seeds for my cilantro next year. And I forgot I even planted this here. So let's get a little taste. Mm, there's a little poop on that one. Mmm. So fragrant. Carrots will come up later. We'll leave one carrot and I'll show you the seed there. Now this is edible chrysanthemum. When this flower matures and turns brown, the whole bottom base is going to be a million seeds. And we'll show you how that works. Potatoes, the small tiny potatoes or the seed potatoes, you keep them for next year. You can keep whole potatoes too in a cool place for months over winter. And then, you know, put them back in. Let's see how we got. Do we have any potatoes in here? So there's a new potato I could save till next year. All right, I'll just put that back in there. I'm gonna eat that. <laughs> I just wanted to show you these uh, zucchinis now that we've got a nice irrigation system. Also, I was doing a lot of chop and drop today, which is putting all the garden back in on the garden. Look at the amount of material we have here. So chop and drop all day I've been doing just planted a new bed here next to uh, Lo Love Lies Bleeding Blue Spruce Courant see still one berry in there a couple berries in there some more peas I just planted midsummer there's a blackberry coming up we got some late cukes that might uh, perform and now to seed save this, check out that zucchini, gorgeous, gorgeous zucchini. Uh, you would let this grow for another week or two. I always let the last one go until it's three, four feet long. When you cut that open, the seeds are inside. Same thing for all different types of squash. There's beauty right in here. Let that one go all season and save it and you'll get about a hundred seeds out of it here we have some calabacitas there's a big one in there these are some melons taken off now that we have water some pumpkins some melons and some rain falling from the sky See some apples, some nice basil and peppers coming in. I'm about to put in this apricot, some really nice endive, mint. You never knew where a Brussels sprout grows. It grows at the inside there on the stem. See them all. And a really nice cabbage. Boom! Be safe. Grow food. It's free and delicious. And just, why wouldn't you? It's awesome. Save seeds. Seeds are free and they perpetuate your garden.